All right, I just want to give you a little bit of an introduction to what you're about to see in the video. This is my Desert Tech MDR. Um, I do have a conversion in it right now uh, for the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a 20 inch barrel. I have the Amtac uh, CQBM uh, 7.62 suppressor on here, which is a direct thread suppressor. Um, I also have a Trigicon RMR and the Bushnell Elite Tactical Scope with a spur mount. So, uh, my experience, I've um, shot, you know, a lot of rounds through this gun. I don't know, probably a couple thousand now. And it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a little bit of a journey trying to get this to be what I want it to be. It's a love-hate relationship, honestly. Um, in this video, I uh, kind of give a last-ditch effort. Um, it's been most consistent, reliably, with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, better than the 308 for me. Um, in my gun, uh, and it has uh, been much more consistent uh, suppressed than unsuppressed. Uh, I have the six position gas valve in um, on a setting two, which uh, uh, following everything and with the suppressor uh, appears to be the correct uh, gas function. So, um, I, and I was worried about, you know, it gets pretty dirty uh, suppressed pretty fast. So I was worried about that, so I did a really thorough, detailed clean, um, lubed everything up uh, properly, and uh, assembled it and wanted to, to see maybe, uh, maybe the, the cleaning rate, it, you know, maybe it's only good for 100 or 200 rounds or so. But I figured for, uh, you know, uh, what I want to be able to use it for, it should be good for a couple hundred rounds, hopefully without a malfunction. My biggest concern with reliability is it's, it's, it's hard. Now this one's really well broken in. But it's kind of hard to get in here. You kind of have to get the magazine out, take the panel off, get uh, all your brass and stuff cleaned out of there, and then, um, you know, get this uh, put back together. It's not really uh, like clearing a Type 1 or Type 2 or even a Type 3 malfunction on an AR. Um, your workspace isn't, it's a little bit too close to your face as far as uh, dealing with it. So uh, reliability is my number one concern at this point. Finally gotten a lot of the accuracy issues taken care of, and you see one of my previous videos. Uh, you can see me plinking steel um, uh, IDPA target at uh, 915 yards uh, consistently. So um, I was pretty happy with that. This definitely has the potential to be, you know, a good uh, close quarters combat all the way out to, uh, you know, battle rifle range to, um, you know, uh, even potentially some long distance uh uh, encounters, especially with the 6.5 Creedmoor. So, with that said, what you'll see in the video, um, I go through 200 rounds of Hornaday. Um, this is elite match ammo, the ELD, um, really nice stuff, and, uh, and very accurate, uh, very well put together by Hornaday. On the 49th round, uh, I ran into, spoiler alert, um, a failure to feed. Um, on the uh, 74th uh, round, uh, the right, the uh, ejection panel actually popped off. You will see that in the video. And I had one heck of a jam. It wasn't a malfunction, it was a jam. And uh, it was kind of digging in to the, uh, the gun there a little bit with a piece of brass. It was very difficult to fix. I had to get the giant screwdriver that I used to adjust my gas valve um, out and uh, eventually was able to get that clear. So if I had been in a gunfight, it would have been dead long ago. Um, and then on the hundred, then it went fairly smooth. And then the hundred and sixty second round, um, it uh, crushed one of my uh, rounds as it was going in. I don't know what's really going on there with the bolt catching it or whatever. But um, uh, if it's more of a double feed or if it's just uh, um, you know a failure to feed. But uh, I've seen that a lot, um, especially with my uh, with my uh, three hundred eight and 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 six five. And then uh, I think it's 188th round, there's also another one. So out of the 200 rounds, two of them became unsuitable and unsafe to fire. Um, but you'll be able to see that everything is in the video. Some of it's sped up, so it's not too long. But you'll be able to see uh, from start to finish everything that uh, uh, happened. So that's, uh, that's my story. That's where we're at with this thing. Um, just uh, for me... Uh, I wish the reliability is a little bit better uh, than what it's been. If you have any tips on uh, how to improve this thing, um, you know, or know something better than I do, that'd be great. The, uh, uh, it does have the enhanced uh, uh, 
uh, extractor on it as well. So I didn't uh, run into the problem, which I used to have a lot with it uh, failing, failing to extract cases uh, from the barrel or for ripping the case rims off. So that's, it. that's an improvement. Hopefully, um, as uh, this design continues to be flushed out, they'll get it to the point where uh, it really needs to be. Uh, thanks and enjoy. All right, very good. So that's my Desert Tech MDR. Got a 20 inch 6.5 Creedmoor barrel, Amtac 762 suppressor on here, shooting some Hornaday uh, match ammo, oh, the 6.5 Creedmoor. Just going to do some uh, reliability testing and uh, shoot at these targets and see what happens. 200 rounds. First malfunction. Okay. Failure to feed, number one. Okay, failure to eject, ejection plate came off while shooting. Press are getting loose. As the gun warms up, the Amtax suppressor gets loose. Not found a solution for that at all.
can see this one. Got crushed. I don't know what malfunction you want to call that. Yeah, it's number three. Okay, failure to feed that one properly. Got a little bit smushed. Two hundred. <laughs> 